You're watching WRTE Coast TV. It's Tuesday. Here's a WRDE web news update. I'm Walt Farkas in for the vacationing Abby Smith. A motorcycle rider who collided with a dart bus has died. The crash happened Friday night at the dart yard on Route 113 in South Bedford Street. Police say the bus driver turned into the path of the cyclist, 68-year-old James Barron. Barron was flown to Christiana Hospital where he died. State police cited the bus driver for failing to yield to Barron. A possible tornado hit Salisbury yesterday afternoon south of the university and in a neighborhood to the east. Powerful winds as high as 110 miles an hour overturned cars in the area of Route 13 and Dogwood Drive. Wacomico County emergency officials say at least one person was injured. Streets around Salisbury University were flooded during the torrential rains. The Princeton home neighborhood was hardest hit, Salisbury police tweeted a picture of a huge tree that came down on a house. No word on any injuries there. Contestants in the White Marlin Open are hoping to get out on the water today. Yesterday's storms kept most boats at the dock on the first day of the big tournament. Ocean Downs Casino made less money in July than it made last year. That's according to the state of Maryland. A new report just out says Ocean Downs made about $6.5 million from slot machines last month. That's down about 1.5% from last July. Ocean Downs only operates slots, no table games. MGM National Harbor near Washington earned $50 million in July, tops in the state. Our WRDE Person of the Day is Dana Quillen. If you see Dana, tell her to have a great day. It's your WRDE Web News Update. I'm Walt Barkas, in for Abby Smith.